create your first project, the first thing you need to do is click on Create New Project. This brings up the workflow wizard. The first time you use the software, it can be a good idea to just click the point cloud option first and step through each of the processes in turn. You can come back to the workflow wizard later as it streamlines the whole process. So for now, we're going to click point cloud, choose next, save a project save location. And remembering that we need five times the size of the point cloud in free disk space for a successful process. Next, I'm going to choose a point cloud. Any format will do, including recap, E57, LAS. Today, I'm going to be using some BLK to go data in an E57 format. Leave all the other settings as default and click finish. This will import the E57 into point fuse. Note that this process can take a few minutes for large data sets. Once that import finishes, the point cloud will automatically open into view and you can start working on your project. To quickly tour you around the interface, the 3D space is where the models and point clouds that, you've, that are built within the project will be shown. Along the top, you get a context driven toolbar that gives you access to a number of different tools. The tools here depend on the type of data that you've got loaded into view at that time. Down the bottom, you get a pink highlighted bar that shows instructions on navigation, selection, and any tools that you have open. And that will depend on the tool that you're using at the time. Along the top are the key workflow buttons, and these will become available as you step through the stages of the software one by one. On the left-hand side is the Project Explorer. Again, as you create meshes, as you classify those meshes and create BIM models, those models will be delivered into this Project Explorer. And finally, on the right-hand side is the Properties tab, which will show properties for whatever is selected, whether that's an item in the Project Explorer or some surfaces of the mesh.